Hi kids! I'm in a feel-good mood, so guess what it is? Today I am making a Philly cheese steak dip. I mean, what the heck? Steak, cheese, dip. First of all, what we're going to do is preheat my cast iron skillet. It's already hot because I've already cooked a little bit of the steak. I'm going to throw the green peppers and onions in it, cook them up real quick. By the way, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous new year. It's first day. Let me get a spatula and handle this. So what I have here is I've already cooked a very inexpensive flank steak, just barely, just like a couple minutes on each side in my cast iron skillet with a little bit of EVOO, salt, chopped it up to little pieces. It's going to be good, some good shit. In the meantime, while that's cooking up, you, you have to go to your refrigerator and get a beer. <laughs> you just saute these for a few minutes. What we're going to do is I have about a half a cup of mayonnaise. I use the mayonnaise. It has olive oil in it. I don't like that other stuff. I don't know. Whatever time wise. Good for me. And you use what you have in your house. So I shredded my own cheese. Provolone. More cheese. And I've made these lovely baguettes for some bread that I had in the house I bought the other day for some steak and cheese. Because, oh my God, I just love steak and I love cheese. So you cook these, get them all nice and soft, basically. Takes about three, four minutes. So you guys all hung over? Not me. I don't get hung over. Let them drink liquor like half of you idiots out there. I'm a bear girl. That's what I drink. I drink my beer. You want to get your onions a little bit caramelized. You know, you know that look. With the green peppers. It's going to cook in the oven so you don't have to cook it too long on, in your frying pan. Let that cook for a minute. I have a beer. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna let that cook. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna take, I have eight ounces of cream cheese. Open. I've brought it to room temperature. It's been sitting out. So it's not hard, so it's not going to give me trouble when I mush it. I have to mush. You just know me and mushing. Ah! Yeah. Get it open. What the hell? Alright. Got this bad boy open. Now my fingers are all slick. You know what? I'm just going to cut it. See? Got it open. Okay. <laughs> we have that. We have um, a half a cup. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Maybe a spoon or a spatula or something. Put it in here. And I'm putting it right into the dish that I'm going to bake it in. 
And then we have the smusher. Don't forget about these guys over here. Smush, 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 smush it all. It's so much easier if I would use my mixer, but I'm not doing that because I'm, as Tom calls me, a Cambodian. <laughs> Mush it all up real good. I think it might need a little whisking. Because I let it get to really good room temperature so it got pretty soft. So, what we're going to do, those green peppers and onions are coming along quite nice. I have quite a mess on this thing. I don't like these things. Do you guys like these things? I hate them. That's why God invented the mixer. I gave my handheld to the kids, and all I have is the big bowl. And if I take out the big bowl, then it's just a huge mess for me to clean up later. And if anything, I cannot stand cleaning up. I hate cleaning. I'm going to whisk it. This is bogus, so don't try this at home because I don't know what I'm doing apparently. Where is my whisker? No, it's in here somewhere. Because Tom did the dishes. Actually, I did the dishes. He loaded it. I hate doing dishes. I like to make a mess, but I hate doing dishes. Yeah, that works so much better. See? It's all coming together nicely. Get it all mixed up. All right. Looks like my onions, peppers are done. I'm going to turn this off so they burn up and go down the stove. Cause a fire on a later date. Woo! Don't ever leave your spatula on it, in it, like me. It's pretty hot. And it's not metal. And I'm using a cast iron skillet. So I'm a dumbass and I always grab it without a glove. And I'm going to get my trusty, trusty, handy mitt that my good friend Charmin gave to me. To get it off the stove. <laughs> all right. Pour all this goodness in here into your bowl. You have to forgive me. It's quite heavy, and I have carpal tunnel. Me. <sighs> Sometimes I need help. Like physical help, not mental. We already know that I need mental health, but let's try this again. All right. Got most of it in there. We got our steak that we chopped up. Only cook it. I cooked it on the cast iron skillet with olive oil with a little bit of salt couple minutes on each side, maybe two, three minutes on each side. I like my meat mooing. And if you don't, then you don't know how to eat steak. You're going to dump it in there. They cut that one small enough. <laughs> and my cheese. Wait, I can't use all of that. I got to mix this stuff. See, I, I'm a hands-on kind of girl. So I'm going to mix this stuff up with my hands because there's, I always say that the best tool that you have in the kitchen is this. As long as they're clean, washed, and sanitized, you know, soap and water, that's all you need. Hot soap and water. You're good to go. Mix it up real good. Get all that goodness mixed together. I tell them at work that too. Tell them. Because they'll be like, where's the big spoon? I need a big spoon to mix this. I'm like, use your fucking hand. 
Sorry. Use your hands. <laughs> Oops. This is going to be delicious. I made bread, but you can use pita chips to dip it in. However you want to eat your Philly steak dip. Now, I'm not getting to the bottom of it. I gotta get to the bottom of this, right? Can't land, ever lay in the plane, as Tom says. Never lay in the plane. I like to fly. Woo! Fly, fly, fly. Fly all the time. Fly everywhere. All right. I think I got it pretty good in mix. You think so? All right. <laughs> okay. Let me get most of this back in the bowl. And then I'm going to wash my hands for a second. Because I can't do anything with this. Huh? You? You can't do anything like that either? Yeah. Hold up. All right, now I have lots and lots of cheese. Whee, cheese, oh man, we don't ever let our cheese go to waste. Cheese, I love cheese. It's the only dairy product I can eat, cheese. I really can't eat it, but I like to tell my brain that I can because I can't have dairy. All right. What a mess. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the oven for 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, cook it up, and then you have a beautiful Philly cheese steak dip. Remember kids, have fun with your food. <laughs>